welcome to today's Tuesday Tip Series entitled, Did You Know That? Where we will be discovering or rediscovering for some tips in the 4350.3 handbook. We will go through chapters of the handbook and I want you to highlight the things that we discover and rediscover. Some of you might have known and some of you might not have. Today's tip can be found under moving tenants who require special features into accessible units in chapter 2, paragraph 2-33, sections A, B, and C. Under section A, it states if a member of a tenant household becomes disabled with an impairment that requires special accessibility features and the tenant requests an accessible unit, that an owner may move that tenant into an accessible unit in lieu of making the tenant's existing unit accessible and usable. However, if a tenant needs only minor modifications to his or her unit and does not need a fully accessible unit, HUD says that the landlord should make the modifications and leave the project's fully accessible unit in place or intact and available for tenants who need such units. Did you know that? Our next one is, our next tip, the second tip, is in the same paragraph. We're going to look at paragraph B. It says, if a member of a tenant's household is a person who does not need specific accessible features, you know, a shower, or rolling shower, but whose disability requires that they live on a particular floor or location on the floor, maybe the sun comes in the window on the east side, the owner must move that tenant household to the new unit. If such a unit is not available, however, the owner should assign the tenant to the next available unit that meets the requirements or the needs of the tenant. This accommodation must be based on the tenant's disability related need for the particular unit or floor or location on the floor and not just based on the tenant's personal preference. So you need a third party verification. Did you know that? The final tip for today can be found in section C of that same paragraph. It states, if a tenant household is being moved to a different unit as a reasonable accommodation, as a reasonable accommodation to a household member's disability, it has to be connected to the disability, then the owner must pay for the move. That's right, the owner must pay for the move unless doing so would constitute an undue financial or administrative burden on the property. Did you know that? Well, hopefully you marked or were able to highlight today's tips in your handbook and tune in next week for more exciting tips on the 4350 handbook with the series, Did You Know That? Thanks.